أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على سرات مستقيم تنزل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوم ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إن جعلنا في أعناكهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مكمهون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبصرون وسواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون إنما تنذر من تبع ذكرى وخشي الرحمن بالغيب فبشره بمغفرة وأجر كريم إن نحن نحيي الموتى ونكتب ما كدموا وأثارهم وكل شيء أحصيناه في إمام مبين صدق الله العظيم إن شاء الله إن شاء الله Um, uh, kind of, kind of in, in in two parts. So I guess you could say when I grew up as a as a teenager growing up, um, I was very much into science, and I thought science was the way to find the truth. So I, I was pretty much consider myself an atheist. I think through as as, as a teenager, but. Um, when I was in college, in, in Chicago, freshman year in college, I had, um, Allah just gave me this like, unbelievable experience one night in the springtime, almost the end of uh, freshman year. Um, uh, my dorm was on the lake shore in Chicago, uh, on Lake Michigan, and a storm had just passed over the city, like big storm clouds, and then the, it started raining out over the Lake Michigan and like a few miles out and you couldn't hear anything but you could see like lightning. You couldn't hear the thunder but you could see just at sunset, right at sunset, you could see all this lightning coming down. It was like, like static electricity or something when you pull a uh, sweater off, your, uh, off, off yourself. But it was like, so there's this fantastic lightning show, like this incredible natural event. And all these people, hundreds of people came out to the lake shore and we were all watching it and just happened to be there. and. Um, Somewhere in that, in that time watching this and saying hi and talking to other people around me, all of a sudden, you know, Allah gave me this very special experience of, like, I knew that there was a creator. I knew that there was God. And he was controlling this and he was controlling the universe and he was controlling the, uh, everything that happened. And uh, that he was the creator, he was the almighty, he was the, the fashioner of things. And... So that, that was the first really powerful experience, changed, changed my life. And um, I started looking into studying religions after that and uh, reading the Bible, I went back to like Genesis and said, oh, oh my God, this is like, it meant something to me where it didn't mean anything before, you know. And, um, and so I learned a lot about a, a lot of different uh, world religions and, and including reading Quran and stuff and over the years. And, um, and then, so then, it was 1997, so like 17 years later, when I was, um, uh, I received this book from my mom, and it was a book of uh, Islamic teachings by a, a, a sheikh from uh, Al-Quds, from Jerusalem. 
and uh, in, in English, his uh, teachings in English, and um, 19, 1996. And I um, read this, this book, and it really made an impact on me. It's like, I, I want to meet this man if he comes to the United States. And he came to the United States the next year. And uh, be, me and both me and my mother went to, to meet him. He was uh, someone who my mom's, a friend of my mom's had met. And uh, through him, she found out all the information. We went to meet him in, in um, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and at my, at my uh, her friend's house. And, um, uh, and it was just an extraordinary weekend. He is a, um, he's a sheikh. He's uh, very knowledgeable and with a really good gift for, for teaching about Islam to Americans, uh, I just found. He, he just reaches people on a very sort of emotional, and his, his teachings are very sort of poetic. And um, just out of the end of this weekend with him, uh, not only did, did my mom really embrace Islam, but I, I experienced such like a power in the, in the message of the Quran, in the message of Islam, that I had never, never felt, never uh, felt in any of the other, like the, uh, you know, I'd been studying something about, about Buddhism and Christianity and Judaism and, um, and, and many other religions, Hinduism, and, um, but this just blew me away. This just like, I felt like such a power that I felt in the Quran. And, um, and that's, so that's my heart, my heart changed uh, that day, that weekend. Uh, as, did, as did my mom. At, at 61, she uh, uh, became Muslim in her heart, and uh, we both took shahada like a couple years later, but, uh, but that, was, that was the turning point. And um, so it was, it was an amazing experience, and it was just kind of the, it was the, so it was like the door opening up for me, because it was, as I'd heard later, you know, I'd, I'd read the Quran, and, or translations of the Quran, and it really didn't, hadn't, hadn't impacted me that much, but starting then, it was, um, slowly, like, it, it just really got deeper and deeper, deeper for me when I would read the Quran, both hear, like, recitations of it in Arabic, as well as reading English translation. There was, somebody told me along the line that, you know, the Quran, um, the, the more iman you have, the more iman, the more faith you have, the more you open up your heart to the Quran, the more that it gives you. And I found that it almost sounded like a catch-22 at the beginning. Well, how do I how do I surrender myself to this if, I'm, if, uh, if I don't know, you know? And it was, it was a matter of faith about like plunging in with my heart and, and feeling. Uh, and then I, all of a sudden the, the meanings, you know, the deeper meaning of the Quran really, uh, slowly, every, every time I read it, it just became deeper and deeper for me. And uh, Alhamdulillah, that was uh, 17 years ago. And uh, 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 Alhamdulillah.